What's going on, teachers and parents? Welcome to Math Unlocked, where I get to offer you strategies for teaching math for grades three, four, and five. My name is Miss McCarthy. I'm the creator of McCarthyMathAcademy.com, and I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you and your students. That way you can get out there and support the students that you work with. In today's episode, I will break down a fourth grade skill involving equivalent fractions with denominators of 10 and 100. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach you. All right, y'all, so here we go. Equivalent fractions with denominators of 10 and 100. Let me first break down what I'm talking about here, okay? So equivalent fractions. This word right here, equivalent, means equal. We're going to create fractions that are equal, just like one half is equal to two fourths. Those would be equal fractions there. And let's talk about what a fraction is. All right. We have a fraction bar. We're going to talk about the parts of a fraction. So this line that I've drawn right there, that's called the fraction bar. And you see that number on top? That's called the numerator. It describes the amount that is being considered. That is the part that we're going to be talking about or shading in. And when you jump down from the fraction bar denominator, it's the total number of equal parts in each whole. Okay, so that those are the parts of a fraction. We're working today with denominators. That's the one that's that's down. I remember denominator is down. Denominators of 10 and 100. So we're going to be working with fractions that have a denominator of 10 and a denominator of 100. All right, so we're just going to do one example today. And if you're looking for more support on this, just stay tuned because I'll point you in the right direction for some more video lessons similar to this or some more resources. So you can see I have two different visuals here, right? One of the visuals is broken into 10 equal parts and one of the visuals is broken into 100 equal parts. So when we jump down from the fraction bar denominator, it's the total number of equal parts in each whole. And on the other visual, when we jump down from the fraction bar denominator, it's the total number of equal parts in each whole. Now I'm going to create the numerator for our tenths. Let's see, what do I wanna put there? Let's say three. So you see that number on top? That's called the numerator. It describes the amount that is being considered. It's the part that is being shaded. It's the part that we're considering here. And we would read this fraction as three tenths. And what we're trying to figure out is what would be the equivalent fraction? How many hundredths would it take to be equal to three tenths? All right, so if I want to model three tenths, I need to shade in three tenths. So this would be one tenth shaded in, two tenths shaded in, three tenths shaded in. I feel like that Tootsie Roll commercial. <laughs> All right, so that would be three tenths. So the equivalent model, I'm looking over at my hundredths now and I'm thinking, hey, this kind of looks like a tenth, but it's broken into even smaller pieces. So this would actually be 10 hundredths, 20 hundredths, 30 hundredths to make it look the same as, to shade in the same amount as my three tenths, we need to shade in 30 hundredths. So let's write that in there, okay? So this is great to start your lessons with visuals so students can see, oh, when I shade in three tenths, that's exactly the same amount as 30 hundredths. It's just broken into smaller pieces, right? Now, and we want students to get to where, what is mathematically happening here, a more abstract way of thinking here. So when we're going from the denominator of 10 to the denominator of 100, we're actually multiplying by 10. And that's the same thing is true. When we're going from three to 30, we're actually multiplying by 10. So if we were to multiply three tenths by 10 tenths or a fraction equal to one, 
whole, we would get 30 hundredths, okay? So it's really important that students are able to visually understand what's going on there and mathematically that we're multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 10 to create a fraction that is equal. What is a common mistake that some students might make? Well, they might say that 3 tenths is equal to 3 hundredths. And now, according to our visual, we know that that's not true because if I were to shade in 3 hundredths, I would only be shading in this little piece right there. One, two, three of those hundredths. And those would not be equivalent fractions there. So that's a great discussion to have if students are writing something like this, to have a discussion of what's happening um, with your fractions and your visuals. All right, I hope that that made sense. If you are looking for some more support on this skill or any other fourth grade skill, stay tuned because I'm about to break down some next steps that you can take to support your students. I hope you found this episode to be helpful. If you did, please let me know by hitting the like button. And if you wanna see more, consider subscribing to the channel. It's an easy way to support the content that I bring to you for free on YouTube. If you're a teacher or a parent, especially in Florida, you'll definitely wanna to check out McCarthyMathAcademy.com. Here is where I offer fast math freebies, including a playlist of fast math style problems and video lessons to support your teaching. For those ready to dive deeper, check out Taken on the Best, a monthly membership packed with video lessons, student guides, extra practice, error analysis videos, math tasks, mini assessments, and much more, which are all strategically aligned to Florida's best standards. With three levels, bronze, silver, and gold, you can choose the support that best fits your needs to promote student growth and skill mastery. Would you like to take taking on the best for a test drive? You can sample one standard per grade to find the right plan for you. Do that by simply requesting a free trial. And if you're gearing up for the final fast math assessment of the school year, Definitely check out Taking on the Fast, a 15-day countdown series with video lessons and fast-style math problems. Start with a sneak peek of day one, and when you're ready, you can make a one-time purchase. And if you're thinking about the gold plan for Taking on the Best, good news, Taking on the Fast is included in your membership. While many of my followers are in Florida, I know that there are teachers and parents everywhere looking for support. That's why I created McCarthy Math 155 with 155 video lessons for each grade level, third, fourth, and fifth. You can also sign up for a free trial to McCarthy Math 155 to explore it before signing up for a monthly membership. And finally, if you've enjoyed my math music videos on YouTube, you can also jam out to ad-free versions on my website. You can find all the links below and please feel free to email me with any questions that you have. I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Until then, get out there and make the world a little bit brighter in your own special way. See you next time.